Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Podcast Special Edition Series, where I preview and predict every conference for the 2019-20 college basketball season. Now up is the WCC, the West Coast Conference. I'm going to do my projected standings order. Player of the Year, Freshman of the Year, Coach of the Year, coaches that could jump to new schools, or coaches that could potentially be fired, and more. All right. Winning the conference yet again, the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Why not? They're the obvious pick here. They won it last year. Went undefeated in conference play. Mark Few in year 21, um, 34 or 33 and 4 regular season record as a whole last year. Um, Killian Tilly, Admin Giller, Drew Timmy, and Corey Kespert are all notable players from this team. In second place, I have the St. Mary's Gales. Last year, they actually snuck in the tournament, 22 and 12. Last year, 11 and 5 in conference play. They actually were a um, auto bid winner, so that's something that uh, I wouldn't have expected. But yeah, they won the auto bid last year. Randy Bennett in year 19 on his job. Mobile players on this team. Aaron Menzies, Jordan Ford, and Malik Fitz. I think this is a top 25 team this year. BYU I have in third. The Cougars, David Rose is gone. Mark Pope is in. 19 and 13 last year, 11 and 5 in conference play. Gavin Baxter's injured. That's unfortunate for them. Yoli Childs and TJ Hawes are um, noble players on this team. In fourth place, I have the Pepperdine Waves. I think this is a bounce-back team from last year. They went 16-18 and 18 last year, 8-10 and 10 in WCC play. Lorenzo Romar is in his second season in his second tenure there. Noble players coming back, um, Kessler Edwards and Colby Ross. In fifth place, I have the San Francisco Dons. 20 and 10 last year, 9 and 7 in conference play. Kyle Smith in um, Washington State now, so they have a new coach. Noble player coming back in Charles Minlin. In sixth place, I have the Santa Clara Broncos. 6 and 15 last year, 8 and 8 in WCC play. Herb Sendlick in year number four. Noble players coming back. Um, Taj Eddy and Trey Wentz. In seventh place, I have the Loyola Marymount Lions. CBI last year, 22-12 and 12 record, 8-8 eight eight in conference play. Mike Dunlap is in year six with the team. In eighth place, I have the San Diego Torios. They made the NIT last year. 21 and 15 last year, 7 and 9 in WCC play. Sam Skull is in his second season with the team. They have a nice freshman coming in, Marion Humphrey. In ninth place, I have the Pacific Tigers, 14 and 18 last year, 4 and 12 in conference play. Damon Stoudemire. In year number four, they have a notable player back in Jalil Tripp. And in the cellar yet again, the Portland Pilots went winless in the conference last year. 7-25 and 25 overall. Terry Porter in year four with Portland. Player of the year, Killian Tilly of Gonzaga. This is a risky pick considering that he's been so injury prone throughout his career. He's not playing tonight in Gonzaga's season opener. Which they don't need him tonight anyway, so um, it's not a big deal that he doesn't play tonight. As long as he's back for the big games that they have this season, I think that he'll perform in them and perform very well. I'm a big fan of Tilly. Freshman of the year, Mark Marion Humphrey of San Diego. I think that he's somebody that will provide some good minutes for them. And coach of the year, Randy Bennett of St. Mary's. I think St. Mary's will have a great season. I think there's a chance that they could go better than um, 12-4 and four in conference play, maybe two losses to Gonzaga and a random trap loss at BYU. I think this team could go 
13 and 3 in conference play. I think this team's very talented. And their non conference schedule has improved. That's always been their bugaboo the last few years. And they finally improved that non con schedule. That will help them. And I think that Randy Bennett takes home hardware instead of Mark Few. So just gives somebody else their fair share of recognition. A coach, in my opinion, that's on the hot seat is Terry Porter of Portland. That's been a really bad team over the past few seasons. And I think that he could get axed with a bad season. A coach that I think could um, potentially make a jump. A dark horse candidate for this is Randy Bennett, but he's had opportunities and passed on them. So another good one that I think could potentially jump with a good season is Herb Sendek of Santa Clara. I think if Santa Clara could be um, projected or better than I project, um, maybe that um, Herb Sendik looks for a new opportunity. I'm not calling that one. I don't think any of the, these coaches jump, but I do think that Portland will be looking for a new coach come 2020-2021. All right, um, and that's it for the uh, – preview podcast with all these conferences and make sure you listen to my regular podcast from today November 5th to check out my first um, bracketology of the season as well as my major award winners I hope you guys have a great college basketball season have fun